Hello, welcome to Get Your Mind On. I'm Lori Stos. So it was a Monday afternoon, August 15th, and I was driving home from a full day of work. I walked into my house and it was quiet, very quiet and empty. Now I've been used to having some quiet and empty homes since I've uh, had kids in my life half of my time since my divorce, but I walked in that day and realized that this is the first time in 10 years that I don't have a child to care for. I've approached that empty nest, a transition for me. Fast forward two weeks after that, Monday, August 30th, and it was a Monday afternoon, well, it was closer really to Monday evening, and I was sitting in the conference room at Think, in the boardroom, with a small group of friends. And after that moment, I was looking around, and we had had a get-together, and it was my farewell but not goodbye party, <laughs> farewell and so uh, see you later party, um, after my time at Think. And I was thinking of all of the things around me that had been there over the past two years in working to build this company. And now it's time to transition. So I'm going to talk to you about my personal story with transition. We've talked about transition for the past weeks, and I've really talked about bits and pieces of my personal transition, maybe sprinkled throughout um, as I've gone through transition. But today I wanted to share my story to really let you know where I'm at with transition. So I sit here today, which was the same desk that I was sitting at two years ago, telling you about leaving my consulting business or taking time from my consulting business to move to build Think. And now I sit here today, two years later, and think about where we've been, where I've been, and where my life is changing now on my personal transition. So first I mentioned my children. Uh, what a time in life when we think about our kids and, our, and all the years that we spend raising them. And now I'm to that stage of empty nesting. And what an amazing experience, although you go, gosh, are you scared? Are you alone? Are you lonely? All of those things. And I'm really, really excited about this point in my life that I get to see my children grow up. I am finding so much joy in watching them succeed and seeing them be independent and make decisions on their own and call you for those decisions that they have to make. And that's a wonderful stage of life. But of course, it is a transition. And then I think about where I am with my uh, business. Think about Lori Stos Consulting. I just uh, had a seven year anniversary show up on LinkedIn and I've been very grateful and very uh, fortunate to have a successful business for seven years. But I've taken those last two years to really focus on Think and really build that startup company with a wonderful group of leaders who we've all been close and had highs and lows over that period of time. What amazing experience. So spending about nine months, as I say, kind of through the pregnancy, and last July then, this past July, birthing the baby, um, July of last year, and now that the company is a year old, it's time for me to go. Um, I definitely know that I'm a builder, not a maintainer. And I think about all of those things that we've done, and all of those lessons learned, and all of those people um, who I've met along the way. And now when I look at that and say it's 15 months in or 14 months old, that company is, I'm just so proud of it. I'm so proud of what's been accomplished. I'm proud of the mission, the mission of healthcare and changing healthcare and the patients' lives that we've touched and every one of those employees there. You know, I've had the fortunate um, time to spend with each of them, each of you, if you're watching, and interview you and bring you on. And yes, we've had highs and lows. That's what a startup's about. We've had those times that we, you know, were ready to pull our hair out and, and uh, systems didn't work or something happened or whatever it might be. But gosh, that's made us so strong. So I thank each of you for your commitment to that. And I just am so grateful to be a part of that. Um, so my role has changed there. I'm now consulting on a part-time basis with Think and um, just sharing what I can share to continue uh, growing it in a way and building the culture in a way that we want to uh, succeed for the future. So as I've transitioned two big parts of my life, I was sitting in a leadership program last week and I was helping to facilitate and I recognized, gosh, I'm like one of the, on the older end of the group. <laughs> it was a weird feeling um, as we transition and I'm thinking, wow, I'm like on the older end versus kind of in the middle where I'd been used to being. And when people were talking about the balance of their life, I stepped back and said, gosh, I don't have parents anymore. My parents are deceased and my kids are gone. What a weird feeling. So that transitioning of that is different in our lives and our journey. And so I just think about all of that. I think about my life. I think about all the transitions of where I'm at now, and I'm so excited about the future. 
what does that mean for me? It means that I'm continuing to raise my kids uh, successfully in their their college lives. Um, my time is going to be spent with co- clients and cons- and consulting uh, back with those great clients who've stuck with me and new clients that I'm working with. And um, I'm really excited for that. But my really message to you today is, I wanted to share with you that, but as I'm consulting, it's funny, I've had probably three or four executives that I'm working with right now in transition as well. And this is all part of our life. Transitions through the whole period of time, no matter where we are, when we've talked about it through retirement or becoming a manager or changing jobs or even being a parent or empty nesting, whatever it might be, it's gonna be part of our lives. So. We know there's two things that you always need to stay true to. One is who you are. Know your truth, honor your truth, and know who you are. Because if you get away from that, it'll never, you'll never find fulfillment or happiness or peace in your life. And second is your values. Know your values and know what's important to you. When you have, are struggling through transitions and through those parts of your life, you have to first step back and say, do I know who I am and am I staying true to who I, what my values are? Because those things are most important and that means it's you're, you're, you know, straight to your core. So I hope you've enjoyed this transition series and I just want to thank each of you for listening and being part of this and being with me through my transition. I've learned a lot. There's been lots of uh, lots of happiness and lots of uh, sadness too along the way, lots of uh, lessons learned. And I look forward to just continuing to share what I've learned through my transition to continue to make all, making all of us better. Thanks for joining us today and remember to get your mind on. 